do you look for now to like to, to, um, to decide if a beat was successful or not? If if I decide if a beat's successful, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of like I try not to focus. One thing I learned to stop doing is yeah. focusing so much on all the the numbers and like how much you've made or how much your views are doing. Or because you know I used to be very um, like, oh, this this beat did a hundred less views in the first twenty four hours. What was wrong with it? And then right. it. And then one thing I learned was it literally doesn't matter. I've had uh, songs that I thought were like beats that I thought were not very good did a million views and then I've had beats that I thought this is amazing you know so I spent all night mixing it and it gets like 2,000 views right. so I feel like I've stopped focusing too much on like the number side and constantly checking my subscribers and stuff like that right. letting, it, letting it do its thing I mean yeah cool. no that stuff will drive you crazy like yeah, it's, just... putting, it's putting so much like unnecessary pressure on yourself for things that are out of your hand yeah, it's it's literally uh, there's things you can do to like help it, but at the same time, it's like you can't force a beat to blow up. You can't make something blow up, or you know, it's you just have to let it kind of you put it out there and then let it let it do its thing. Whatever happens, right. happens. Yeah, no, that's I, I think that's super good advice. I think that's super key. Like, just like if if you spend too much time obsessing over it, then it's going to distract from the actual like important things that are actually in your control, like like making good music and improving on yourself every day. Yeah, exactly. If you're too like, worried about the numbers, like and if people are seeing it or if it's getting the right type of engagement, then I think that'll eventually like leak into you know your workflow and yeah, you can, and you can reduce it all about very easily. Very and like you said, it can leak into your workflow. You know, you know, if you're in like if you're in a bad mood you're not necessarily going to make that good music. If you're stressing over, oh, my beats need to be better, mm -hmm. that's not a good frame of mind to be in to make better beats. Like, mm -hmm. it's when you're in a positive, like, you're feeling good, like, you're happy, you're excited about stuff, but you're going to go and you're going to make some good music. 